Go. Oh, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here once again, uh, we got a leaky faucet here in the bathtub. This is uh, the same bathtub that we fixed before with the shower head and the uh, drain tub. So here we got a leaky faucet right here. Usually it fills up this bucket overnight or during the day. So, uh, so what we're doing, I looked on the internet and I was uh, just trying to figure out what could possibly be the problem to that. And uh, from what I understand, it could possibly be the temperature cartridge. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change it out and uh, see if that's what it is. Um, I also looked on the internet, on the YouTube, and I could not find any videos with this type of uh, temperature cartridge. So if this is the temperature cartridge you have, then this is the video for you. What we have is, what we need is an Allen wrench and a Phillips head screwdriver. So what we're gonna do first is I need to turn off the water, the main water switch, and drain all the water out. That way, when we open it, don't spray us. This is also a little do-it-yourself project. That way you can save a little money, you know, without having to call a plumber or anything like that it's it's pretty simple pretty easy to do but like all projects um on youtube when you're watching them make sure that you do your research that way you know you're confident enough to go ahead and take care of this project by yourself we'll be back okay so now the main uh, water switch is turned off to the house so everything's to all the water's turned off so now we can start working on uh getting this temperature cartridge changed out so when we're taking off this little lever here there's a little there's a screw in there that you definitely don't want it to fall down into the tub drain so you can either put a towel down or in my case i'm just going to close the tub drain Okay, so now what we're going to do is, is we're going to take this uh, lever off here. You're going to need your Allen wrench. There's a little small screw in here. You definitely don't want it to fall down into the tub drain. Get the Allen wrench in there. Turn it. And there's the little screw. You definitely don't want to lose that. Take off the lever. You got to... Give it a pull, and there's the lever. This right here, it just you could just unscrew it with your hand. You don't really need nothing. Let's take that off. This off. Now you don't really have to take this part off if you don't want to. It's really not in the way, but you want to take these little four screws out right here. This just comes right out. That's your temper, the whole temperature gauge here. Okay, so now that we've got this piece off right here, we're gonna go ahead and uh, take the old piece that's in behind it. It's called a pressure balancing cartridge. And all you have to do is just take your pliers or your needle nose and just go ahead and grip it and pull it right. And it just slides right out right here, just like this. So this is the old piece right here. It looks like the maybe some of the pieces are messed up on it. That's probably why it's making it leak. So when you install the new one, you will probably want to get inside there and kind of wring it out, uh, get all the little dirt and stuff like that. Maybe use a... Uh, flathead screwdriver and kind of scrape it and get all the loose stuff out of there that way when you put the new one in there that the gaskets will fit right in there and, and uh make a seal so all you have to do is like i said is just slide this back inside there and that's it and make sure that these are lined up on the 
the grooves up back there. So that's the new one right there. It's already in place. So all you have to do is just uh, go ahead and put this back in there. And you want to make sure when you're putting it back in there that this is going down. And this goes right back on there. What I put the screws in here. That way when you line it back in there, it's pretty easy to line them back up with the, the holes here. Okay, so I screwed them back in there. You don't want to kind of over screw it out, you know, just afraid that you might break something if you over screw the, the uh, bolts in there. So, but it's pretty secure in there. So that's it. Okay, so now we're putting this back on. Line it up. This little deal just screws back on there. Back on there pretty tight. Never kind of want to line it up, and you gotta have to kind of push it in there. That way, it's in there all the way like that. And don't forget your little screw here that goes inside. There you go. Huh? Okay, that's it. Now we're going to turn back on the water line and check and see if it's any leaks. But hopefully it fixes the leaks and it was also hard. It took a long time for it to get hot. So maybe that was another one of the problems with that gauge that we just fixed. So um going to turn back on the water line. We'll wait about 15 minutes and then check and see if we have a leak still. Okay guys, we're done now. Uh, it's fixed, we've turned on the main water line, so it's not leaking anymore. And there you go. That's uh, how you take it off and put it back on. And hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully it helps you in saving a little bit of money. Like and subscribe guys. Thank you, bye bye.